Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you? It is good to see you. So you guys, I just wanted to give a quick update. But before I do, I'll tell you what the update's about. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications when I post new videos. And uh, if you're a returning subscriber, how are you? Nice to see you. I've missed you. And uh, you guys, so today's update is going to be about my ombre brows that I had done back in November. Uh, so how long has it been? November, I got it done November 7th. So December 7th, January 7th. So it's been like a little over two months now since I've had my eyebrows done. So I just wanted to give an update on how they've healed, the healing process as well, and the healing process as well. So, yes. My brows, you guys, are everything. Like, I am going to go back for a touch-up because there is one thing that I noticed. I have no makeup on besides, like, some lip gloss. But, um, you see this brow? Okay, it's perfect. And then you see this brow is perfect. I feel like this side could be a little bit thicker like that side right there. You see what I'm talking about? So when I do go in for a touch up, that's one thing I'm gonna have her address. And as well as, um, huh, I'm like debating, like right here in the front, I'm like, I don't want it too dark because then I feel like it takes away from being able to see the hairs right here. So you see how you can see the hairs and it, it, I feel like it's more natural to me versus if I, had her go over it again too dark, I feel like it might look a little bit too much, too packed on, too dark in that area. So, yeah, I don't know. Still debating on that. So, I had a touch appointment appointment coming up like next Saturday, but I pushed it back because I feel like my brows are okay. Like I don't need a touch up right now and I want to wait probably until mid this year and then go back for a touch up and have her address this area right here because right now it's fine i don't really even doesn't bother me that much but it's just one thing that i've noticed when it's healed when it has healed so yeah it's fine um so uh i show you before picture and i feel like this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love my eyebrows, you guys. Like, nothing else you can tell me right now. I love my eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to show you the during the first week how it was going. So here's a picture of that. And my eyebrows, of course, looked flawless then. It was fine. It was perfect. There, It hadn't even really started going through the the scabbing process yet so they were fine they were perfect week one and it didn't take the there was like no pain for like i mean i think i had pain for like a day or two and it wasn't nothing bad or anything like that so it was pretty much overall fine the week first week i it was good i was good with that like i didn't have really too many issues so then moving into the second week <laughs> Um, was when it was like, uh, how to, what's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm looking like a zombie here. And I'm gonna show you videos of that right here. Is when my eyebrows started to peel over here. And I was looking crazy. And here and here, it was like scabbing. And it was like I'm missing a piece. So I looked like I was missing my eyebrow. But it was really the skin scabbing. So, <laughs> It was starting to look crazy. And I was like, please hurry up and fall off. Uh, I don't like walking around like this. But as you can see in the pictures, you can see there was like a huge scab right here. And I was just like, yeah, this is crazy. So, yeah. Then a couple days later, within the second week, I started to... Uh, 
see more cracking along this line and I was like oh and right here it was like really really dried out um I was using the uh the stuff that she gave me but it was scabbing so you keep it moisturized and you try not to touch it too much and y'all the itching the itching like I thought itching on a tattoo was bad the itching for this I wanted to be like and yank it all off it was getting on my nerves so bad the itching that is the one thing the itching and I couldn't do nothing about it it had to fall off naturally on its own because I didn't want to mess up the color the shape or anything that was gonna happen so I was like Ugh. yeah definitely the itching the cracking like I had some skin disease going on I was looking crazy the second week and then as we get further into <laughs> the third week it was taking me like three weeks moving into week three for my skin to peel I don't know why to for it to to really really start peeling off it was cracking and some pieces small pieces were falling off but it wasn't like a huge scab came off you know um, but eventually it did like right here in the front a huge scab came off so then it was like nothing here it looked like I had no eyebrow and it was like really really dark right here so it made no sense <laughs> I looked crazy and then here too like a huge scab had came off mid the third week and as you can see in the picture and the rest of the eyebrow was super dark and you tell it was scabbing well I could tell it was scabbing so it was just looking really really weird <laughs> and crazy like I'm like I, I hope my color comes back she said it was gonna scab and the color was gonna come back and I'm like Lord please please pray and like let this color come back because it looks like nothing happened like I have no color at all at all <sighs> so like between week three and week four it literally took me four weeks for the scab to come off I kept moisturizing my eyebrows and sometimes I was using Kim tip not my finger some of the scab would come off on there so I was like well whatever I couldn't help it that's what happened so, and that's what happened. And it took four weeks for my skin to fully scab and come off. And I feel like it took another week or two for the color to come in right here, you know, because it was nothing. It looked like nothing to me. Like I didn't even get anything done, but the color did come back right up here. Because over here, it's like I had no problem. And I feel like you have no problem over here because there's less hair over here. So when you have more hair right here, you know, especially right here, I felt like, and I feel like she didn't go over this as, as, as much as dark as she did right here. So of course this is gonna be lighter because it's a powder brow, it's an ombre brow. So it's to have an effect of a natural looking brow. And everybody know the hair is thinner right here near your um god what i want to say like right here and then as it goes out towards your temple you know you kind of have more hair you're supposed to have thicker hair so yeah that was the process and i'm so happy with my brows like i said i went to aura Norris here in Chicago so she did a wonderful job on my brows and I will be going back to her again to get the touch up just not right now but I just want to give a quick update on my healing process and how my brows look now and how much I love them and there's no makeup on them so they look so good and then the next thing I'm trying is the lip blushing so I'm interested to see how this is gonna go uh, I've been doing some research and looking at it I'm like hmm, but I am going to try it to see and I'm gonna take you guys along the journey for that so that's what's next not anytime soon because I just set up my appointment and it's a couple months from now so but I will be taking you guys along the journey for that for sure and I'm definitely gonna take you guys along the journey for when I do my touch up for my brows with uh, aura so thank you guys for watching this update if you have any questions put it in the comments below 
Um, if you're thinking about doing it, do it. You know, it's, uh, the, I don't know if I told you the price I probably have before. If you haven't seen me when I first got it done, uh, video and my Q&A video, definitely check that out if you're interested in getting this done. But I think it, the price ranges from three to $500. And then the touch-up can either be complimentary, um, it depends on what the person's prices they charge, or, you know, you have to pay extra, like, $150, $200 for a touch-up. And typically, I from the reviews I've seen and the videos I've seen, people have went for touch-ups um, within between the fourth and sixth week. But when I talked to Aura and what she advised me was, if you feel like you need a touch-up and that you didn't like how it looked or whatever, or it's not dark enough, whatever you know your preference is for your brows, then yeah, come back in four to six weeks and get a touch up. But if your brows look good, you know what I mean? You not that you don't necessarily need a touch up four to six weeks later. It depends on how your brows feel and how they look to you. So I feel like my brows are good. I feel like they came out perfect. Um, besides this right here but i'm okay with it and i will be going back to her to get a touch up in about six months okay so like i said thank you for watching definitely subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video